But, but the hardest job I ever done was baptizing that bear. That big old bear. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome the Oak Street Boys. Let's bust a chord. Let's bust a chord, a good old major chord, with some ringing harmony, harmony. Come on and join the fun. We'll bust a minor one as we warble merrily. Let's sing it through again, and then we'll all chime in. It will make your heart feel light. You'll be hoarse tomorrow, but forget your sorrow while we bust a chord too. If you're a low down bass, come on and find your place. And a tenor, we welcome never fear. If you're a baritone, don't sit around alone. And a lead is what we need right over here. Over here. Let's bust a chord or two, and then you'll know it's true that a song makes everything go right. Give it away your trouble, let your joy be double while we bust a chord. For 
me. Please, please give your love and heart to me. And, and, say, and say we'll never part. Say we'll never part. I think of you every morning. Dream of you every night. Darling, I'm never lonely. Whenever you're inside, I love, I love you for sentimental reasons. And I hope you do believe me. Oh, I've given you my heart. Oh, I've given you my heart. Oh, I've given you my heart. I love you, sweet heart. Street Boys, and we're from Sturgeon Bay. I'm going to introduce people, I guess. Yes. Singing lead, Al Wittenberg. <laughs> Al, Al is a beverage transportation specialist. He started out working for Budweiser, then he went to... Oh, started at Miller. Started with Miller, excuse me. Then went to Budweiser. Then Budweiser. Then Pepsi. Pepsi. And Wait, then, then Coke. Then Pepsi. Pepsi. <laughs> now, now back to Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? We're never third. Hans Feld sings high tenor. Yeah. Hans is a retired banker, farmer. What? Anyway. Author. What? Author. Author. And he's an author. An author. Hans has two books published about his experiences up at his beer camp. And Andrew Olson. Andrew is a project coordinator. What? Manager. <laughs> Project manager. We don't know what he does. <laughs> he changes so often, it's hard to keep it straight. <laughs> but, and uh, I've been doing it for 10 years. I'm, I'm, <laughs> and I'm Henry Isaacson, and I sing baritone, and I'm an architect in Sturgeon Bay. Hans has been singing barbershop for approximately 65 years. Hans and I have been singing together for 35 years. And these kids joined us in 2000, so they've been with us about 13 years. <laughs> that enough? Sure. Okay. So, barbershop <laughs> is kind of a historical music form, right? Yeah. And not a lot of barbershop quartets left out there, right? Yeah. So, a historical day, historical farm, we're happy to be here with that. <laughs> Another historical form of music is this. polka. So, might as well do one. We're going to do one, this barbershop polka, I guess. I hear a polka and my troubles are through. This kind of music is like heaven to me. It's got me higher than a kite. Hand me down my soup and fish. I am gonna get my wish. Hoop de doing it tonight. To rat that that when there's a trombone playing round. I get a thrill. I always will. When there's a concertina. Stretching out a mile, I always smile. Then I always smile, cause that's my all the while, all the while. When there's a fiddle in the middle, oh, it really is a riddle how he plays. Plays a tune so sweet, so sweet that plays a tune so sweet that I could die, that I could die. <laughs> oh my. So lead me to the floor and hear, hear me out for more, cause I'm a who. Doing kind of good, de doing guy. De doody who, de doody who, de doody who, de doody who, de doody. I hear a polka and my troubles are through. De doody who, de doody who, de doody who. This kind of music is like heaven to me. De doody who, de doody who, de doody who. 
It's got me higher than a kite. Hand me down my soup and fish. I am gonna get my wish. Hoop de doing it. The hoop de doing it. The hoop de doing it tonight. Tonight. While Hans is moving up, um, this, the next song we're going to do is my wife's favorite, and she happens to be here today. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. And um, we found an arrangement for the song, and we decided that we would learn it and then surprise her with it. So that's what we did. Occasionally, we'll take the wives out to dinner, and we were having dinner out of Glidden Lodge. And after dinner, we all got up and sang her song for her and made her cry, and it was great fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, for your enjoyment. I see trees of green, red, red roses too. I see them blue for me, for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world, what a world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, the bright blessed day, the dark sacred night, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of people passing by i see friends shaking hands saying how do you do they're really saying i love you i hear babies cry and i watch them grow more than I'll ever know, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky, are also on the faces of people passing by. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. I hear babies crying, What a wonderful world, wonderful world, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world, Another one about the world. Here we go. I'm sitting on top of the world. Just rolling along. Rolling along, just rolling along, along. I'm quitting the blues of the world. Just singing a song, singing a song, just singing a song. Glory, hallelujah. 
Virginia, I just phoned the parson. Hey, Par, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, but um bum, I'm going to fall. Because I'm sitting on top of the world. Just rolling along, just rolling along. Don't want, Don't want any millions, I'm getting, I'm getting my share. I've only got one suit. That's all I can wear. I can wear. A bundle of money won't make you feel gay. A sweet little honey is making me say. Sitting on top of the world Just rolling along Rolling along, just rolling along, along I'm quitting the blues of the world Just singing a song, singing a song, just singing a song Glory, hallelujah I just phone the part Hey, Par, get ready to call. Just like Humpty Dumpty, but I'm bum, I'm going to fall. Because I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along, rolling along, along. I'm up, 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 on top of the world, on top of the world. <laughs> 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 I like to tell you a story about the wife. I like to tell you a story about the wife. Oh, okay. Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> I stand before you as a serial husband. I've been married three times. <laughs> The first time I married for love, the second time I married for the money, and the third time I married to get it all. And if any of you know Vicki, please sure, be sure to tell her that I said that, because otherwise I'll be in big trouble. Anyway, when I was between wives two and three, I decided that maybe I was going about it the wrong way and I was gonna try something different. So anyway, this next song tells the story of how I met my third wife. I met a girl who told me she's a dancer A prettier girl I'd never seen before I went to the theater to see her What a shock! When I opened up the door, opened up the door, she was dancing the bump, bump, bumpity bump. The audience was going wild. She looked at me and threw me a kiss as I came stumbling down the aisle with every bump, bump, bumpity bump. My heart started bumping. Every night you see me in the front row seat Cheering with the rest of them and stomping my feet I know I made the gap to make my life complete With her bump, bump, bumpity bum Bumpity bum I took her home to meet my pa They said she was the girl for me They wished us both a happy life and that's when I made that gal my wife. Now I get home each night about five. She's got that radio on. She starts a moving all around the kitchen floor. The neighbors peeking in and yelling, more, more, more. They ask if I sell tickets at my front door to watch her dance the bumpity bum 
bumpity bump. I love to watch her dance the bumpity bump, 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 bumpity bump. She starts a moving all around the kitchen floor. The neighbors peeking in, I yell and more, more, more. They ask if I sell tickets at my front door to watch her dance the bumpity bump. Bumpity bum! I love to watch, watch her dance the bumpity bum 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 bumpity bum bum. <laughs> One night, uh, we were out singing somewhere, and we stopped at a pub on the way home, and we were doing like people do in pubs, only considerably longer than we really had intended to do. <laughs> Playing beanbags. Yeah. Anyway, Al started, for some reason, telling us about his honeymoon. Now, we don't know if it was the first or second. We know it's not the third. But we know he started telling us about that honeymoon. So, the next day, I called Andrew and Henry, said, do you remember what he told us? And they, so we had a meeting, and we had all jotted some things down that he told us. And we wrote those all down and said, you know, this would make a pretty darn good song. And we've just, we just call it Al's Honeymoon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see that sun in the morning. It's gonna be a wonderful day. Me and my gal are gonna get married, no matter what our friends all say. She might look a little bit different, she's a little bit strange, they all say. We'd like to tell the story of a beautiful wedding day. My wife, we got married. We rushed off the guests that all tarried. The bride and the groom went to their room side by side. First, she put her false teeth in her pocket, then unscrewed her hand from its socket. Her hair looked so fair, lying there on the chair, side by side. She took off her left leg and draped it over the chair. Popped out her shiny glass eye, it was more than I could bear to see it lying there. So I... Stood there all broken hearted Cause most of my wife had departed So I slept in the chair There was more of her there Side by side Then I put her all back together But she didn't look any better but the gal that I saw looked better than my mother-in-law. That's my bride. <laughs> Here's uh, some familiar songs, a little change of pace, maybe a little more, uh, I don't know, true love, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Say it again. Love me tender, love me sweet, never let me go. You have made my life complete, and I love you so. Love me tender. For my darling, I love you, and I always will. You know I can't be found sitting all alone. If you can't come around, at least please tell a phone. That's true. Baby, if I made you mad, something I might have said. Please forget the past. The future looks bright. Don't be cruel to a heart that's true. I don't want no other love. Baby, it's just you I'm thinking of. Since my baby left me, I found a new place to dwell. It's down at the end of Lonely Street at Heartbreak Hotel. I get so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely, I could cry. I get so lonely, baby. I get so lonely. I get so lonely, I could die. Don't want a four-leaf clover, don't want an old horseshoe. I want your kiss, cause I just can't miss with a girl of charm like you. Come on and be my little good luck charm, oh, you sweet delight. I want a good luck charm hanging on my arm, to have, to have, to hold. To hold to now. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying on the town. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Now you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. When they told me you was high class, that was just a lie. When they told me you was high class. That was just a lie. Now you ain't never caught a rabbit, and you ain't no friend of mine. One for the money, two for the show, three to get ready. Now go, can't go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can do anything but lay off my blue suede shoes. Knock me down, slander my name, slander my name all over the place. Do anything that you want to do, but ah uh ha, -huh, honey, lay off of my shoes. Don't you step on my blue suede shoes. You can go anywhere, do anything, but don't mess with my shoes. You can go anywhere, do anything. But don't mess with my shoes. You can go anywhere, do anything, but don't mess with my shoes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. Shuffling down, rambling, scrambling ahead for town, hustling, bustling, buzzing around, happily awaiting at the station. Look at the train, your number 709, huffing and puffing and arriving on time. Who do you think 
Dink's about to arrive. The band, the band they call the Dixieland Five. They're gonna play, play that, that muskrat ramble too, like you never heard it played. Join in the big parade. All together now, one, one and, and two, two. Join the happy throng. Feel the beat of that rambling, scrambling muskrat song. Come on and ramble along. Ra da 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 Shuffling, shuffling down, rambling ahead for town, hustling the buzzing around, happily awaiting at the station. Look at number 709, huffing and puffing and rhyming on time. Who do you think's about to ride? The band they call the Dixieland Five. Ra da 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 da, ra da 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 da. They're gonna play, play that, that muskrat ramble tune like you never heard it played. Join in the big parade. All together now, one, one and, and two, two. two. Join the happy throng. Feel the beat of that rambling, scrambling muskrat song. Come on and ramble on. Ra da 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 da, ra da 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 da, do ha. Thank you. So, who here has sung Barbershop before? A few people? Nice. Oh, not too many. Oh, great. Uh, we don't sing too many times a year for an audience. We do it mostly for ourselves. We enjoy the tart tate harmony and we enjoy singing a cappella. We don't need to have a piano player or another instrument or a recording behind us. We're able to just sing together. We meet on Oak Street in Sturgeon Bay. The name of our quartet is the Oak Street Boys. It's where Henry's office is and the quartet has been meeting there for 40 years plus. But I think I was born right at the right time. I was born in 1933, right after the Great Depression. Um, and we didn't have anything. And better than that, we didn't know we didn't have anything. So we didn't know what we were supposed to be disappointed about. So uh, we had went out and made our own baseball gloves, Went down to Cricket, swam, and we, hey, that's the way it was. And uh, anytime we got everything above that, hey, that was great. But our song here is kind of like what we feel like, as our quartet feels, about growing up. A one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch. Eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me. I'm the richest man in the world. Thank you, thank you, Lord above, for smiling down on me. I'm richer now than any man has any right to be. Health and love and happiness have been my cup of tea. The richest wow. man in all creation, do, 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 do. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch, eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man in the world. I've got water in my well and heaven in my heart. I've got the perfect woman I can trust when we're apart. Cash enough to see a show and eat out now and then. A rough bed, a fishing port, and folks who call me friend. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch, eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man in the world. I don't have much bank account, my cash on hand is small. But tell me what are riches but contentment after all? Other folks may think I'm poor, but I know it's not so. 
Cause when I count my blessings, I'm the richest man that I know. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch, eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above, and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man in the world. Well, oh. All the rich folks talk about the love they eat. Well, I've got all of those rich folks speak. I've got a whole field of yellow yams. A smokehouse filled with country ham. Don't talk to me about caviar. It ain't nothing but fish eggs packed in a jar. I got a whole pond, a great big trout. Two fish eggs? What are you talking about? Don't need no fancy swimming pool. The creek in the woods is nice and cool. I'm a lucky man, a lucky fool. I'm lucky, I'm wealthy. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch, eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above, and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man in the world. I got a humpback mule, a plow, and a tater patch, eggs that are gonna hatch someday. I got the Lord above, and a good girl to love me, I'm the richest man, yes siree, in all of the world, in the Gonna, we've got just a couple more songs, and we're. Uh, uh, I saw a question back there. Uh, Michael, roll the oh. <laughs> well, we, uh, no water. Water's loaded. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We don't have that one, uh, but that's a good one. We'll, uh, right up there with Kumbaya. <coughs> All right, so normally we would do an exit here, but we're just going to do our last two encore numbers here because sometimes we leave and we count and we come back and everybody's gone. So we're just going to do our two encore numbers right now. We'll pretend, okay? Is that all right with everybody? Okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. You're super happy. That part. Ba-dum, bum. Ba-dum, bum. Well, the preacher he went out walking was on a Sunday morn. Of course it was against his religion, but he took his gun along. He shot himself some mighty fine quail and one little measly hare. And on his way returning home, he met a great big grizzly bear. Well, the bear sat down in the middle of the road as big as he could be. The preacher commenced to shake him as he climbed up the cinnamon tree. The bear stood up and he shook his head and he rolled his ugly eyes. The preacher looked up to the skies and this is what he said. This is what he said. Oh Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale and then the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace, so the good book do declare. Now, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sakes, don't you help that bear. Oh, Lord, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sakes, don't you help that bear. Now the bear commenced to climb the tree, and that made the preacher sore. So the preacher, he climbed up higher, till he couldn't climb no more. Just about then that limb gave way, and they both came tumbling down. Then the preacher, he began to pray. You could hear it for miles around. This is what he said. Oh, Lord, you delivered Daniel from the lion's den. Delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale. And then the Hebrew children from the fiery furnace. So the good book do declare. Now, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sakes, don't you help that bear. Oh, Lord, Lord, if you can't help me, for goodness sakes, don't you help that bear? Well, they fought all the way down to the river, and it was a terrible fight. That bear was really laying it on, but the preacher, he was doing all right. Yay, preacher! He dragged that bear right down to the water. It was three times in and out. Then the bear got loose, and he limped away. And the preacher, he began to shout. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You, you delivered Daniel from, from the lion's, lion's den. 
from the lion's den. Delivered Jonah from the belly of the whale and then. Now, Lord, it may not seem like much from where you sit up there. But, but the hardest job I ever done was baptizing that bear. That bear. All right, thank you very much for being a wonderful audience. It's a beautiful day, and we hope you enjoy the rest of it. We're going to wish you off with um, one of our favorite songs. We actually sing it in church but normally, but we also sing it for every show to close it because we think it's a good wish uh, to end our show with. <clears throat> so thank you again. We're the Oak Street Boys. When peace like a river attendeth my way, when sorrows like sweet billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say. Horseshoe Bay Farms. We're at the Egg Harbor Historical Society Taste of Egg Harbor, and we're very fortunate to have the Barbershop Quartet, the Oak Street Boys, here with us today. We have three out of the four members, and can you guys introduce yourselves, please? Henry Isaacson, I'm Al Wittenberg, Hans Feld. And um, just talking to them a little bit ago, Hans, give me just a little brief uh, synopsis of the group and how long you guys have been together. Well, I, I started the group in 1967. Uh, of course, I'm the only original left in it. Uh, then, 1975, Henry uh, joined the quartet. Then a few more quit and so forth. And then 12 years, 2000, the year 2000, Al and Andrew joined us. So the four of us have been together for 13 years now. Yeah. 13 years now. Well, that is fantastic. Now, what kind of music do you perform? What do you do? Tell us a little bit about how often you perform, those kind of things. We perform as often as we want, <laughs> which, which isn't that often. We probably do 
Um, speaking of a base, there it is. Yeah, we Andrew. Kim walks Andrew. Yes. Um, probably, I don't know, four to six times a year. Yeah. Just depending on what's happening, what's Just, going on. And yeah. we've been, basically, we've been in front of our schedules. Perfect. Um, we're lucky we've been joined by the fourth member. Please introduce yourself. I'm Andrew Olson. Hi. I'm, I sing bass. You sing bass with the group. And um, uh, you're the youngest member of the group here. And yeah, he is. Just I hear that you guys have been together about 13 years. Why do you enjoy doing this? Well, it's a bit of camaraderie and friendship and singing some old song and some new songs and uh, uh, it's, an, it's a music form that is dying. How often do you practice when you're getting ready? How do you choose what you're going to sing? We're supposed to practice. That's what I hear. You have to practice if you're in music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we try to get together at least once a week, the three or four weeks before performance. Um, we, have a, we have an extensive repertoire. and. To go through it at least three, four times to refresh it because we do everything by memory. So, but once we do that three or four times, the ones we've known, then we're pretty comfortable with it. And there'll be slip-ups like there always is, but it's it's just kind of fun. We started out we we practiced almost once a week before we even performed, and, but then jobs and children and health and everything else got in the way and now we get together whenever we can because we just thoroughly enjoy it. Well that's perfect. Um, what is, I'd like to know from each of you, what is your favorite thing about the group and what you're doing here? Hans? Well, I've been doing it for so long, I just enjoy close harmony and the challenge uh, of some of the songs that we sing and just the camaraderie uh, if we never perform, it's okay with me. Just as long as we can get together and, uh, and keep our friendship. You know, we close. I don't think we're closing with today with this song about uh, keep the whole world singing. But my philosophy is this: the four of us cannot. Uh, we cannot be angry at one another. Uh, and can't hold grudges. We can't. You've got to be in harmony amongst ourselves, of which we are. And now, when we sing a song, keep the whole world singing. Just imagine if the whole world were to harmonize. We wouldn't have any problems with that today. And uh, I just love it. Perfect, Al. My favorite thing is when we're doing a performance and. You get the look of recognition on someone in the audience's face, and they're kind of mumbling the words along with it. And, it. and just seeing the smiles when we perform, you know, it's, it's songs that you know that I've learned just recently that they've probably known forever. And just to touch someone that way is amazing mm -hmm. for me. That's that's my highlight. Henry, um, ah, still yours, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I like the tight harmonies, the tighter the better. Yeah, and and Barbara Shaw can get a chance to do a, a lot of that. Mm -hmm. And and it's, it's a nice group. We're nice people. <laughs> and we get along well. And we have fun. And, and that, you know, like Hans says, even if we didn't sing for other things, mm -hmm. we do it, we really do it for ourselves and for the enjoyment. Okay. Okay. Andrew. Uh, music, it's the, again, the, the arrangement style of the, the vocal, vocal singing. Um, it's a cappella. Um, and there's songs that no one else is singing. There's no one else singing. Probably 80% of the songs we sing, no one else is singing anywhere. And you hit a key word right there, a cappella. I mean, you guys perform with no music, I mean, no sheet music in front of you, no other instruments and stuff, except your voices. And that's a unique talent all on its own, correct? Correct. And Barbershop, again, is, a, is unique even within a cappella. It's a whole other niche within a cappella. Yes. And we are fortunate to have a terrific lead that keeps us on key. Very seldom do we... Or do we get off key? Maybe in a key change, <laughs> he can pretty much uh, pick the note before Andrew blows it on the pitch box. And, and you don't even skip that. That, unfortunately. that is fantastic. So Al is kind of the one who orchestrates, let's say, when you perform. No. 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 <laughs> no. 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 It's so, just the, the names of the singing. You know, there's lead, baritone, bass, and. Tenor. Exactly. Okay. Um, and okay. the lead just sings the, the... Usually I have the melody. Yeah, the melody. Okay. Very yeah, interesting. I have the, I have I the easy part. They have to listen to me. I can do whatever I want and they'll, yeah. they'll match me. They have to match to what where they, you are they, with the melody. They, they shape themselves around me. So. Okay. I'm, I'm a wild can. <laughs> 
And you've grown used to that after 13 years, correct? Yeah, yeah we've, we've sung a lot together and we're very comfortable with each other. And if I, if I screw up and, and throw a wrench into it, these guys are right behind me throwing the same wrench in and we sound just fine. Oh, that's perfect. Now, do any of you have, I'm sorry. Well, and from Andrew. a historical perspective too, Barbershop is uh, as historical as it gets. It's, uh, you, it's uh, guys sitting around in a barbershop mm -hmm. telling stories. And you know, and going out to the woodshed and putting something together and coming back and telling their stories through song. It, 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 there's no forum like that. Radio and television and movies have taken over the mm -hmm. storytelling. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas acapella singing and piano playing and that used to be the way of, of entertainment and telling stories. And, and so that's the historical perspective. Barbershop is very unique in that way. And that's a very apropos to be here today with the Historical Society and, and learn the historic pers perspective of barbershop quartets and stuff. And like you said, barbershop is really a storytelling of what happened in history, what happened in their times and their lives and those type of things and stuff. Do you feel like you're passing that history forward by what you're doing here today and performing? No. <laughs> well, from what it sounds like, you guys have a lot of fun doing this and everything and um, that you enjoy going out to events and everything and hopefully um, more people will get involved and learn more about Barbershop and the history of it. And we want to thank you for having time with us today.